Hey everyone, it's Dan from Endless Recording Studios. Today I'm here to share with you one of my big tips for mixing metal guitars. Now a lot of times you get a metal band in the studio, they uh, they want the you know this that sound that scoop mid super gainy, you know that it almost sounds mushy. It sounds great to them when they're in the studio and it sounds awesome by itself. But then the mix sometimes you you find that it's kind of uh, doesn't have any articulation, uh, no, no pick attack. Uh, it just it's kind of kind of kind of mushy and it doesn't really stand out from anything. And then by the time you push the volume on the faders up uh, enough where you can hear them really well, it starts to drown out the drums and the vocals and everything. And there's several ways to attack this, but one of the uh, I'm going to show you one of my favorite tricks right here today. So, okay, this gonna I'm going to show you a section of a song here uh, that um is just a, a couple of the the gainy tracks in the mix. delay uh okay and then i'm gonna solo those up real quick for you so you can hear it <laughs> typical metal guitar sound all right okay and then, i mean i've also done some processing and eqing and everything here i'm just trying to show you the uh the what difference of adding this other track is so first off the thing what we're going to do here is that you need to make sure you have a di track so right here there's three tracks I'm, you can see right here right now. The DDI track, the uh, the high gain track, and then my special sauce track here. So, DI. Um, there's another video. There's two videos, actually, that I want you to watch. I'm going to put the uh, links in the description. One is for my DI video. It tells a little bit about why what a DI is, how to use it, and, and why you want to use it. And this is one of the reasons. Um, and then there's, uh, the second video in the series is about reamping a little bit how to do that. So what we did here is we have the DI track. Uh, let's see if I can hold this up. Okay, just give me an example. The DI track. Okay, basic. So we recorded that off the you know the output of the guitar into a DI box before we did any recording. Uh, to other, other tracks. So then you record a track like this. That is, you know, the track that they get, you know, the, they they want. It has, has a ton of high gain, kind of scoop mids. You know, it's it's that metal sound that they were looking for here. Now they're doing pretty pretty fast and heavy riffing here, so it's going to be kind of difficult to you know articulate that. Uh, the best they can play the the you know, the amp sound they're going to want to get, um, it's going to sound a little mushy. And now there's nothing you can do with that original track really. If you if you take away some of the gain and add some more of the mids and stuff, then you just end up with a tone that you're not really looking for. So what I like to do is we take and we reamp this DI track through a uh, either the same amp or another amp at a much lower gain and a lot more mid-range. Um, and you end up with something that sounds like this. Here, I'm going to turn this side off. Now, if you tracked with like with that as the sound, uh, the band would not be happy with the outcome of, you know, if it was just, uh, just these two tracks. Um, you know, here. Yeah, metal goodness right there. But however, you take and put them in the mix with these two. And add them in. I can hear the difference pretty strikingly, I think, um, that you, you know, it doesn't really ruin the tone that you got. It doesn't really change the overall, you know, tonality and balance of the, that, that metal guitar that you wanted, but it adds a ton of clarity and definition. So now you can get something that really punches through the mix. So now we're going to hear it in context with the mix. Without first. Uh, again, there's going to be a little bit of a volume jump, but... Well, 
there you have it. That's uh, the real basics of one of my favorite tricks in mixing metal. And uh, again, you can adjust to your tastes, uh, you know, EQ and everything to, you know, to what you want to do and mix them in. But what I do is, uh, you know, the other thing is, so I add that track, you'll notice that I don't have them in very hot. Um, you know, it's, you kind of, what I kind of do is blend them in till, till it sounds good. You know, you start like this. <laughs> See something like that. You just, I, 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 I do the reamping, and then I bring them in. And I pull the faders all the way down to zero, and then I, I get the main track kind of where I want it, and then I pull the reamped low gain track up until I hear the punch and articulation that I want. So I'm not looking to actually hear that sound of that secondary track. So there you have it, folks. There's my favorite trick for mixing metal guitars. Uh, why don't you go ahead and click those other links that I talked about below that'll show you the DI and reamping videos that go along with this. Uh, click the subscribe button so you don't miss anything else, and thanks for watching.